We have a right to safe, healthy food, and we demand better from our food producers. Many conventionally grown fruits and vegetables are treated with pesticides. Baking soda is a really simple and easy one where we put our fruits and vegetables. I don't want to eat any fruit off of the grocery store shelf. We're fighting for a healthier future. Okay, we're told to eat our fruits and veggies, but what if the picture-perfect produce is hiding a disturbing secret? Many conventionally grown fruits and vegetables are treated with pesticides and chemicals designed to kill pests. But these chemicals can also linger and leaving residue on the food that we're eating. So these residues can pose a serious threat to our health. And studies have linked long-term exposures and pesticides with an increased risk in neurological disorders like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and even certain cancers, as well as hormonal disruptions. So these chemicals can disrupt our bodies in profound ways. And our children are especially vulnerable. Their developing bodies are more susceptible to harmful effects of these toxins. Washing produce is a crucial first step, but it may not be enough to remove all of the pesticide residues. Choosing organic produce is a good way to minimize your exposure, but even these potentially harmful chemicals can survive on organic produce. We have a right to safe, healthy food, and we demand better from our food producers. You want to support organic farmers and produce, protect yourself and family. You can easily help reduce exposures by using one of these washes to wash your produce. So baking soda is a really simple and easy one where we put our fruits and vegetables in a bowl, put a little baking soda in there, and let it sit for maybe five to 10 minutes. And then so we're gonna, we use baking soda in a bowl. This is really cheap. Baking soda costs about $1.49 at the grocery store. It's the cheapest way to clean your vegetables. I would also rinse it when you're done. Another way that I really like is using ozone modules like this one, which is an ozone generating machine that sterilizes the water. You just plug this in and let it sit and turn the machine on. Let it sit for, um, depending on how long you wanna do it, five minutes, 10 minutes, and it'll also sterilize the water. And it comes out actually super fresh. I find the taste actually improves after cleaning the produce. I'm probably sure because we're removing these other, either dirt or pesticides or other chemicals that are on the fruit. It could be the wax from the grocery store. And if you're like me, you've been to the grocery store and you've seen everybody touching the fruit, people sneezing around the fruit. Like I don't want to eat any fruit off of the grocery store shelf that I haven't washed at home. This is another great machine. This is an ozone generating machine with its own tub. Plug this in, hit the button for fruit, vegetables, or meat, and it automatically will ozonate the water, which will sterilize the water and clean off the fruit and vegetables. I love both of these devices, but I also know that baking soda is more affordable for most people. If you're interested in learning more information about these devices and others, leave a comment in the video below. At the Swell Score, we're fighting for a healthier future by exposing the hidden toxins in everyday products. We're holding brands accountable and cutting through the wellness hype. As a cancer survivor, I know firsthand the devastating impact of toxic exposures, and we all deserve to know what's in the products we use. So join us and demand better.